So once again, my name is Vince Trinidad. Uh, for those of you who may have short memory, I'm the Executive Director of the Tulsa Sports Commission. Pleased to stand before you, we're talking about Carl Smith Park. It's another city-owned facility. Uh, we currently are actually booking business with the softball groups that are out there. If you're not familiar with it, it's two pinwheels uh, for softball. Uh, it's designed for what they call slow pitch. Uh, what that means basically is that the fences are uh, a distance that's conducive to a slow pitch softball championship. Um, you know, our fellow city down the turnpike, so to say, they're big in the fast pitch, which has shorter field distances. Um, in our opinion, our professional opinion, it's better to have longer distance fences that you can put up temporary fences for slower, for fast pitch tournaments. It gives you greater flexibility. Um, obviously, if you built a fast pitch facility, you would not be able to have the, the slow pitch um, softball that, you would, that is currently out there right now. Next slide, please. So our softball here, you know, it's a great sport. Um, it's, a, it's a sport that certainly can, lots of individuals can go ahead and play in. Um, it doesn't matter really how old you are. Um, they have different levels of ability of softball. So for us, you know, um, I know it says volleyball, but really it's softball here. Um, our local softball groups, we currently work with them to go ahead and, and bring the types of quality events, regional championships, through a multitude of different softball organizations that are out there. Um, American Softball Association, USA Softball, is headquartered in Oklahoma City. Um, but what that does mean that allows us to get regional type championships. Um, you know, they have that headquarter facility, which is the Gold Star Stadium. Um, they're going to have those level of competitions. But for us, it allows us to be able to host regional type championships. Um, the nice thing about softball is that um, USA Softball is not the only national governing body, and there are multiple different groups out there, and we currently work with uh, as many of them as we possibly can. So overall, we're looking at about 1,200 room nights that we've done currently so far. We're looking at almost 1,700 participants. Um, we're looking at economic impact of about $1 million. Um, since most of these are adult leagues, um, they generally do not travel as high as some of the other grass sports that we have, like, soft, uh, like soccer at the Mohawk Sports Complex. But equally, just as so, it's a great utilization of that facility. Next slide. So we're looking at is adding some really, really change, um, some really needed amenities overall for the complex itself. Um, we're looking at obviously, you know, some of the central items you would need, um, not only just the field of play, but you're also looking at the amenities that you would need to be able to host it. You're talking concessions, tournament office. Uh, you're looking at uh, if anybody's actually been out there uh, during a heavy rain. Um, if you're if you're actually in the park, you can't actually get out because you have to drive uh, through uh, like a little creek. And uh, you know if it raises really high, then you're pretty much stuck until it lowers enough to go ahead and allow you to get out. Um, so it's kind of an impediment sometimes, especially during inclement weather uh, that we do have some time. Uh, you can see we're looking at some RV parking to be able to allow those individuals to come in, uh, potentially do for the weekend tournaments. Um, and parking is critical. The ingress, egress is critical as well as the parking. You have everything. Um, so you can see the amenities you have on your screen there that would actually allow us to continue doing what we do out there already, and if not in a greater capacity, working with the local organizers that are out there as well. Next slide. So this is the plan right here. Uh, you can see from Carl Smith, uh, you see all the different areas that we're looking at, at renovating at the complex itself. I'm actually quite, uh, um, it's nice to have two pinwheels of four in one location. I mean, they're literally right across the street from each other, which actually helps us out in terms of tournaments. Um, you know, this allows us, a minimum of eight in my professional opinion, allows you to be able to go after those types of regional championships to be able to have that play on a continuous basis. Next slide. So overall, the project cost for this one, um, in conjunction, working in conjunction again with uh, the city of Tulsa's Park and Recreation, you're looking at $11.3 million overall for all the amenities list that were listed earlier in the slides. Next slide. That concludes my presentation for Carl Smith Park.